you. We're watching them. They're probably watching us, <laughs> folks. Welcome back to Houston Life. If you're looking for ways to oh, add a bit of HGTV touch yes, to your yes. home, we have got you covered, folks. Who isn't looking for that, right? Absolutely. We have Ashley and Michael Cordray. They are back to show us how you may recognize their faces if you missed the beginning of the show from Saving Galveston, uh, the pilot that just aired on HGTV. And it's still re-airing, right? Yeah. Sure. So we, if we missed the first airings. You've missed it. What? Yeah. <laughs> you've missed it. If you didn't record it, you've missed it. It's been you're on. Joking. It's it been on, on four, four times. times. Oh my god. So you're gonna have to go to a friend's house who still has it on their DVR. Okay. Now you've got By one. the way, very quickly, when, when will you find out about the show if it's picked up for a series? Hopefully soon. We may know the ratings today, yeah. which will say everything. I think Whoa, you know something you're you not. Don't. I don't. I wish don't. I did. We're just, we're just thoughts. putting positive vibes out. Okay, <laughs> okay. So we don't know. Let's we dive into too. some of the things that you guys actually do do on the show. Right. Um, let's start first. Which one do you guys want to start first with? Hardware? You tell me. Hardware. Yeah, sure. The hardware. Pot. So the it's restoring old hardware. Yes. Right. We like yeah. to take all of this old hardware and get the paint off of it to bring, you know, this is actually <gasps> copper. Oh, this is copper. Wow. Yeah. It's expensive. So this, if you can see at home, this is an old door hinge that right. someone has just tragically and sloppily painted over several times. And there's the same basic thing. You've got an old doorknob that's covered in paint and they're beautiful copper. I mean, you can't. So these were some extras that I had left over from the show. So I've already gotten all the paint off of this. I can see, I would see something like this and assume it was too far gone to be safe. Yeah, and not realize what's underneath. Yeah. Never, nothing's too far gone. Okay, okay, so on the show, you guys actually did this with the crock pot and I, did. I was floored. I was like, I've never seen that before. So right. you, put, you use obviously an old crock pot, not one that you're Cooking in. Honey, dinner's ready. <laughs> right. A very old one, as you can see, this is ancient. <laughs> yeah. You're taking us back to the 70s. My on that. mother ha still had this under her cabinet. So. Okay, so Michael's got that old doorknob in right. his hand. And then, and then basically, well, it's probably a little hot, but I'm going to risk it. Um, He's brave. Basically, you just, you know, let it work and scrape that paint away, and it starts to clean off. I mean, it's flaking everywhere. Is I'm not like sure how much you can. Is that like a brush that you're using? Just a it's regular a wire, wire brush. brush. Okay. You can get them, you know, anywhere, any hobby store or Home Depot or whatever. Should you wear eye protection for something like this? You know, we're doing live TV and we're just winging it. But normally but, you would, you right? You know, you might. Always you might eye want protection. To. Yeah. <laughs> Is it just water in the crock pot? It's water and a little bit of dish soap. Sometimes you can use a little vinegar, sometimes a little baking soda, you're but kidding. just water and dish soap so and, it's not and a time. It's combination. It, it'll actually kind of just like flake off, yeah. um, but sometimes it takes a couple tries, you know, to get it here. Right. But at least a couple hours in the crock pot. Absolutely. Yeah. Like what if there's six, eight, eight hours. There is. Absolutely. Sorry, I am like, there is. <laughs> yeah. See, that's why, that's why you're on that end. Yes. You're far yes. enough Old away. Houses, Don't worry, you're not going to get away from the lead paint. I'm sorry. This is like a kid safe activity. But okay, so no. you, no. you turn up the crock pot, high heat, water, a little bit of dish soap, right. or maybe vinegar. And some time. And, right. but, and, but how much time are we talking? Maybe six or eight hours to start. You know, we just like to let it go overnight because we don't have the patience to sit there and stare at it. So we just we just drop it in, let it cook overnight, and in the morning we might have a little present. You know. And then you use the wire brush, and then you use the steel, steel wool, wool to kind of finish it off, just to so like give it a little polish. Let me steel wool them too much, or they'll get too shiny. He yeah. thinks I ruin them if I polish them too much. Love okay, that what patina. Are do, what are you doing with the, <laughs> the ball of rope over here? Okay, we're gonna take some jute rope, and we're gonna actually make some placemats. Oh, that's the finished Isn't product. Isn't that awesome? That is the finished product. That's perfect for a beach house. Exactly. Yeah. So, you know, everybody loves the farmhouse feel these days. So, you know, you can use this for a coastal feel or farmhouse. But um, and if you went into the store and bought this, be, this would be what, like yeah, 20, 20 bucks. 25 bucks? Yeah. Yeah. Easy. yeah. So we kind of, we just took our rope. This was about 30 feet, believe it or not. It was quite a bit. Wow. 30 feet of rope for one place, Matt. Yeah. So is that a good rule of thumb? Do you just keep going around? I kind of sure, measured just... it out, but we're just kind of putting the glue on here, um, and then we just kind of roll them around. Oh my gosh, deep And just would keep love going. This. So it's a little bit of glue, and then just keep going. Keep That's rolling. all it is. It just depends on the size of your plate, but you can probably do that for two dollars in rope and you know a 25 cent glue stick, and you're and you're done. Now, While you're watching Saving Galveston, right. there you go. Right. There you go. And is there a key to getting everything to just flatten out like this? I mean, you know, as you're glue, it, you glue it on a flat surface? Or it stays no. remarkably it. flat. It, it's yeah. crazy. It just kind of stays together. I was honestly shocked the first time I did it, but it kind of all stayed together. And then I bought a little dollar shackle from Home Depot, and that's my napkin ring. Shut it down. Yeah. Did you, like, yeah. guys, look at this. No, that's what straight a cool out of the package. Idea. Straight out of the package. It was a dollar twenty-five. We were all just going, oh, yeah. Wow. So it was a dollar twenty-five, and it actually, it's crazy that I had all these different pieces, 
and they all matched up. So it was perfect. And I bought the napkins last night. So that is the most interesting and the cheapest na napkin ring yes. I think I've ever seen. Okay, yeah. last but not least, we got about a minute and a half left. Okay, let me squeeze what in is this? around you here. So squeeze in. We're just gonna make a little uh, a little plant holder. You, you know, do it's, get you it's really, really do kinda... give each other a hard time. I can get tell. Get out of the way. Hold this up and shake the whole house. in the show, but it's nice to know that you guys really yeah. do do that too. So this is just some scrap leather, and you can buy little remnants of leather kind of anywhere. Pretty I bought cheap. a huge bag of leather, um, probably enough to bake a hundred of these. As yeah. one does. Yeah. For $5. Right. So you, just, you just started, you put it, started a going through the leather. It was yeah. a huge... Um, you got like remnant leather at It Michael's? was remnant leather. So it was like black, some was brown, some was light brown. And then we're just, you can actually screw these leather pieces on your fence as well. Right. So, so if you have a little patio or fence. something like that, you don't have a lot of room that to put potted cool plants. You don't want to take up square footage. You want to hang it. You can hang it on a piece of leather, and none of your friends have done that. This that's is a such really a cool thing. How does the leather idea. hold up uh, in the elements? I mean, it's super tough stuff. I mean, it yeah. might not last 50 years, but it, it'll it'll last, you know, long this enough is like to have Pinterest some. Pinterest perfect, by the way. Create Everything is Pinterest idea. perfect, and I and like you... cut some rosemary this morning. You know, some caladium, some rosemary, some citronella. You know, all kinds of fun little stuff that you can put into these. I want to come back as you two in my next life. Okay, oh, yeah. Me too. Sound. Can't really a great little see project. over the thing, but you know, a little basil <laughs> and it smells you know? delicious. So right? good, Ashley, Michael, thank you, thank so, you much. so much. Good luck and with good the show. Luck. Good thank luck, you good so luck. much. You're gonna watch it somehow. And if you guys would like to learn more about how Ashley and Michael are restoring historic homes in Galveston, visit their website save1900. And coming up next, we're announcing the Gold Nugget Lake Charles.